All right, let us say hello to a man who wears many hats, including All Elite Wrestling Superstar, a member of the Bellator MMA heavyweight division, and you may have seen him on social media getting heavily involved in an important conversation in this Bellator heavyweight division, so I wanted to bring him on and discuss that a little bit further. Mr. Jake Hager is kind enough to join us. Jake, how are you, man? Uh, I'm feeling great this morning. Made your way. That was an excellent introduction. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Were you getting some uh, s- s- some work in, some s- some gym workouts in this morning? Yeah, up here uh, working out early, just got done running, and then I was trying to do some stretch, and I'm not very flexible, but I was attempting to stretch afterwards, and it was getting me all sweaty. Oh, there you go. Well, there is a lot going on in your world these days, Jake. AEW is on fire right now. They're adding shows. They're moving to TBS. There's big things happening right now. You're in the middle of a of a major feud on the show. And last night's show, as you record, was the final one on this run at Daly's Place in Jacksonville. You'll obviously be back there, but now AEW is going to hit the road again. How does that feel? Is it kind of surreal knowing that there's like you could see the light at the end of the tunnel and the company's going back on the road again? Uh, it's so exciting. Um, I remember when this all started and we were like, we're going to be at Daly's place, no fans, just kind of hunkered in like, a, you know, like a storm is happening. And uh, I feel like we really did a good job of weathering that storm and not only uh, making a, a good product, but making it better. And now that we have our fans back, it's so exciting. You come out there in front of them and everybody is just so excited to be back to normal. Uh, you can just feel the energy. There's a lot of positivity running through the air. Our fans do a great job of like blocking out all the negative and just coming to have a great time. And I think that really reflects on us uh, performers. And uh, next Wednesday in Miami, July 7th, it's going to be incredible. With what you've been doing with the inner circle feuding with the pinnacle. I I watched the match last night between Sammy Guevara and MJF, and it was just absolutely ridiculous, but you're obviously a big piece of that puzzle right now and kind of going with how the fans, their attitude heading into the building. Have you ever had more fun in your pro wrestling career? No, not even close. This is uh, definitely the coolest I've ever looked in my pro wrestling career. (laughs) I mean, how badass are those uh, vests that we get to wear? And it's just so awesome to be a part of something. Um, You know, October 2nd, 2019, the five of us knew each other, but vaguely, I mean, Jericho and I had the the best, the biggest history. And then the five of us really came together as a group and we're all from different parts and different walks of life. And it was really cool to see us meld together and make each other better. And, you know, Stadium Stampede 2 was just like the cherry on top. It was just an incredible feeling. And this feud just keeps on going. Like, you think it's over, but they pull you back in. They do some other cheap shit, and you got to get back on them. And so it's going to be going for a while. The inner circle and the pinnacle will not stop, it seems. You even got the chance for your worlds to collide a little bit recently on AEW. You and Wardlow had the MMA cage fight. What was that like for you, sort of having the pro wrestling world and the MMA world kind of collide like that in, in one show and one one moment like that? Yeah, it's really cool because it definitely looked like AEW Dynamite. But that was an MMA cage in the middle of everything. So it was very cool. It was also almost like an alternate dimension type deal that we slipped into um very cool to be a part of and just have like for tony and those guys to have the faith in me to give me the opportunity to try and pull that off uh a lot of respect i I really appreciate that that means almost more than anything to me um and also ever since i went to aew i feel like this has been the way i wrestle this is my character uh it's it's not jack swagger it's the it's Jake Hager. He's the MMA undefeated fighter who also has been world heavyweight champion in the pro wrestling world. So people have been wondering what is next for you in your run with Bellator MMA. But before we get there, we have to talk about that last fight with Brandon Colton because that fight was nuts. It was insane. You both are just throwing bolos at each other until the final bell. You get the split decision win in the end, but man, how would you describe what those 15 minutes were like in there? Uh, I think the best way to describe that fight was almost three fights in one for me, which is great because I'm a young fighter. I need the experience in the cage. And so that fight really was great for me. It helped me uh, 
show the MMA world that I really want to do this, that I'm going in, I'm going in there to bang and I want to win with respect. And then I also think that it helped me learn and get that experience. So I know how to dig deep when I get into the bigger matches and the tougher arenas and the more unfriendlier crowds in the foreign countries. So I can dig deep and have that uh, experience to rely upon and uh, be ready to battle. So it's fair to say that you got more value in the third win than you did in the other two. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, learned a lot about myself, a lot about uh, how my coaches operate. And I really love my team stuck through them that whole fight. And they were there with me. I mean, the best part, the best quote from that fight is um, he, he caught me in the second at the end of the second. I feel like I was winning that whole round and then he caught me in the second. So you got to give that to him. And then uh, I come back to the corner and you see Rob Radford go, Oh, you want to be a fucking MMA fighter now, huh, baby? <laughs> it's those moments that define us, right, Jake? Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. that's real love right there. Absolutely. So you 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 dropped the the foreign country nugget in there. So that leads us to six days ago as we record, we find out that Fedor Emelianenko is returning to action in Moscow, October twenty third, and we found out his opponent was the dreaded TBD. Now. Before we get into what we've seen from you on social media the last few days, I remember you and I spoke before you even had your first fight for Bellator, which was headlined by Fedor, and you were honored to be on the same card as him, but you also said that, listen, I'm not calling for this right now, but in a couple of years, it would be an honor to someday share the cage with him before he called it a career. When you found out that Fedor was coming back to fight again in October, how did you react to that initially? Look, I'm so glad you brought that up. When he announced it, I was like, yes, this is my fight. I really honestly believe that this is my fight. It's been my fight since I come to Bellator. Uh, I mean, who else do you want to see him fight in the top 10? Tyrell Fortune, give me a break, all right? This is the fight that everybody wants to see. Um, I just feel like we've been putting it out there and our paths are colliding right now. And I think it'd be uh, beautiful magic and chaos. So some people, like the last couple of days, like you posted the photos of the two of you guys, you've been turned, uh, which I thought was awesome, the, the meet and greet poster into a fight poster. <laughs> and you're, you're saying that this is the fight the world needs. So, but a lot of people are like, are like, oh, he's kayfabing us. Like, this isn't real. He, so you are officially throwing your name into this hat to fight Fedor Emelianenko in Moscow on October 23rd. This is the real deal. You want this fight. I'm officially throwing my name in the hat. Not only throwing my name in the hat, I challenge anyone else to say they're a better fight. I challenge anyone else to say that the people want to see them fight Fedor more than they want to see me fight Fedor. This is my fight. So anyone else can challenge me for it. I dig it. So after the event this past Friday where Fedor's protege, Valentin Moldovsky, became the interim heavyweight champion, Scott Coker's at the press conference. And Scott doesn't like to give out too many details, but he he opened up Pandora's box, if you will. And he said that he's received calls from everybody. They're all raising their hands. Now you're in the mix. Josh Barnett looks like Fabricio Verdum has thrown his name into the mix as well. Junior Dos Santos, Alistair Overeem, like the, the, the list goes on and on, which now includes you. So let me ask you this. Why should you be the guy over those other names? Like these Hall of Fame names, former world champions that are seemingly raising their hands. Why should Jake Hager get the fight over those guys? Man, you say those names, and in the MMA world, they carry a lot of respect. You can say those names any place in this world, and people will know. Uh, Jake Hager is the same as one of those names. I go any place on this planet, and you know who I am. And just because I have a shorter career in the MMA world doesn't mean that I'm not just as worthy. I have a bigger following. I have more excitement behind me, and I have a brighter future than all those guys. So give it to me, Scott, because I'm the one that you're going to build this company upon, not those guys that are just coming in for a one and done. I'm here to stay. I'm here for the next 10 years. Let's go. How have your fellow pro wrestlers reacted to this? Like, I know a lot of them are big fans of the sport. How they reacted to you wanting to fight the man many consider to be the greatest heavyweight of all time? Very excited. Uh, that's one thing that I will always say is my strength when it comes to MMA fighting is... Uh, the love I get from the pro wrestling world, not only the fans, but uh, my peers, people I work with. It's always such an outpouring um, support 
for me whenever I go in that cage. And I feel like we're all in there together fighting uh, together. So it's really cool. They're all excited. They, they want to see it. They all like to get me amped up and all red in the face. So they're ready to see it. To your... To the best of your knowledge, has there been any discussion about getting you in there? Like, has I know the great Daniel Roman scene's probably all over this, but has there been like has there been any back and forth between you guys and Bellator to this point to get that fight? The greatest agent in the world, Daniel Rubenstein, is all over it. Uh, I have uh, no knowledge other than that. Uh, I know it started last week, uh, so. We're just keeping our fingers crossed. We're working hard. We know hard work pays off. And uh, that's all we can do right now. What would this mean to you, man? Like if, like if Danny hits oh. you right now and says, Jake, get your winter gear ready for October. We're going to Moscow. Like what would that mean to you? Goosebumps right now. Goosebumps. You're just saying that this would change my life. I have an amazing job with AEW, but this fight against Fedor in Moscow the all Russian versus the all American. It's just something that's in a movie. I mean, I really think that this is the fight the world that the world needs. Like, I feel like we can bring it together just like Rocky four, you know, maybe the Russian wins this one, maybe he doesn't, but I really feel like this would change my life and propel me to another place uh, where I could really help AEW really help Bellator MMA and uh, really help myself. By the way, I, I don't know why I just thought of this, but I saw a video post of you the other day about um, was a, a great Buffalo off. Is that what it's called? And excuse my ignorance, because that was the first time I had heard about it. But w- what is a great Buffalo off? OK, so <laughs> we couldn't really come up with the I was trying to come up with the best name on the fly. It's really <laughs> the great American Buffalo giveaway is the better name. But really, it's a barbecue cook off with Buffalo between me and my buddy, uh, Danny Vega from Fat Field Family and uh, the great family at Central Nebraska Buffalo have such delicious meat and such uh, healthy options for a fighter or for anybody who wants to be healthy in this world with all this crap going around. You got to eat better. You got to source your meat better. And Central Nebraska Buffalo is the best bison in America. And I'm not even sponsors with them. I just like their buffalo. And you guys are just like cooking off against each other. Is that, is that what it is? Yeah. So we did, we're going to do three rounds and it's a, it's essentially a social media giveaway. So you want to follow all three of us, Danny Vegas, Central Nebraska Buffalo. And then you score points by tagging as many people in each of the video sections. And you're going to win about 10 to 15 pounds of uh, awesome uh, Buffalo short ribs, Chuck Rose ground, I know what I'm doing after this conversation. That's for sure. Yeah, uh, the final round will be uh, July 4th and we'll uh, that'll be your final chance to score some points. Well, that's great stuff. So before we let you go, Jake, I know we, uh, you got, you got some stretching to do. We got to get that sweat back on, but uh, you, you, you threw out a message to Scott Coker. What would you like to say to one fate or million Because he is a major cog in this October 23rd wheel, sir. Ultimately he's going to have a major say in this entire thing. What would you like to say to him as we await word on his next opponent? One of the final opponents of his legendary career. Mr. Milianko, we have met many times. You have shown me respect. You have gotten up out of your seat to say hello to me from across the room. I appreciate that. Now let me return the honor and get in that cage with you and give you a final battle that you deserve. You may think you can beat me. You may think you can knock me out. Great, better for you. Let's show the world what we can do. I love it, man. We will leave it at that, Jake. Thank you for the time once again. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you check out AEW Dynamite on TNT Wednesday nights. Of course, big event in Miami next Wednesday night. So check that out. You can see this man, Jake Hager. And uh, all the best to you getting this fight with Fedor, man. This is this is some stuff. Thank you again, and uh, I appreciate the time as always, man. Awesome, guys. I just want to let you know that I'm starting a body uh, men's program with my wife. Go to bodylikeafighter.com, and you can get some free uh, ab training right now. Free ab training? You want Fight Club abs? You want to look like Brad Pitt? Go to bodylikeafighter.com and get this freebie and start your Brad Pittisms now. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Brad Pittisms. That's that's a great word. I love it. Thanks, dude. Yeah, man. Thank you.